Welcome back, Phasmophobia fam. I hope you're having an amazing day. In this match today, I'm going to show you on Nightmare Mode how to test for specific ghosts, specifically the spirit, uh, the twins, and the wraith that comes down to at the end of this match. So stick around to the end to see how we figure out which ghost it really was and how to use uh, the ghost personalities, so to speak, uh, to your advantage in Nightmare Mode when you only have two of the three evidences available. Also, if you're learning the game, I have a whole series of beginner's guides right here on my YouTube channel set up just for you to learn the game. So if you're dying with your friends every time you play, watch some of these videos, and I guarantee you it's going to help you a lot. Made those just for you. Also, join up with the community. I'm live on Twitch every Monday, Wednesday, Saturday, Sunday. Also over on Discord with the wackos over there. And those links are going to be in the description. And... It's a great place to really learn the game or to just find Phasmophobia friends to play the game with. And we would love to meet you, so come on over, say hello, tell us that uh, you found us on YouTube, and that, that'd be really awesome. So I hope to see you soon. Now here's the video. Alright, solo Grafton farmhouse. Farmhouses have always creeped me out. I love the audio in the farmhouses. This is the smaller of the two Grafton that's notoriously more difficult because... You can struggle to find hiding places. Sarah Barber, uh, prevent the ghost from hunting with a crucifix, find evidence with the EMF, and repel the ghost with a smudge while it's chasing. That's my favorite. I love the smudge. I'm the smudge king. I'm also the king of pressing the wrong button and throwing the smudge instead of lighting it and dying. Sarah Barber, let's go. Why are the TVs smashed? This is nightmare mode. So nightmare mode is the highest difficulty in the game. You don't have access to your sanity or the ghost activity level. You also can only have two of the three pieces of ghost evidence. Uh, sanity drains a little bit faster, hunts are a little bit longer. It's a rough time. But you get more money. You get more money. You unlock Nightmare Mode at level 20. Yo, Anna, welcome in from TikTok. I appreciate you. Sarah Barber, give us a sign. Yo, Munbeebs, welcome in. I appreciate you. Give us a sign. Sarah Barber. Okay, no tarot cards this time. Sarah Barber, no music box. It's going to be a summoning circle, a voodoo doll, or a Ouija board. You met five? Oh, are you in here? Wait, where? Do we have a shade? Interaction. Okay, so we have EMF5 right there. You may be wondering, Bush, well, that, that ghost is doing stuff. It shouldn't be a shade, right? Well, shades can do that. What they aren't likely to do, they can't have a ghost event over 75% sanity. That's not a ghost event. That's just an interaction. Uh, so we'll say it could be a shade. It's definitely a possibility. We'll see. We'll investigate. We got this. Oh my Little God. loser with the gift sub to oh Buddy Unique. God. Buddy Unique, welcome oh to the wackos. New wacko. Let's go. Oh, you flipped on this light. I see. I see how you're doing it. You're being confusing, aren't you? I see you playing mind games, ghosty. I got something for you. Don't you worry. Once I find that bone and cursed object. Hello? Hello? What's the name of the ghost? I have to check one more time. I keep forgetting. Sarah Barber. Ghosty is wild in. I didn't check the kitchen or the back. Thoroughly. Oh my god! Yo, Mac with the give sub. White Wolf Bonnie, welcome to the wackos. Let's go, baby. New wacko. We need like a new wacko chant. Be hilarious. Ghosty, Sarah Barber. Sarah Barber. Sarah Barber. Sarah Barber, give us a sign. Hey, there's the bone. Lockers are available to hide in. Very nice. Um, Summoning circle, maybe? No. It's got to be the voodoo doll, right? Where is the voodoo on this map? 
Or am I getting confused? What's wrong with me? What is wrong with me, fam? Voodoo doll is, um... It's not the mirror. The mirror would be right there, right? Where's that Bleasdale? I'm getting the farmhouses confused. Voodoo would be, what, at the end of the bed here? What is the cursed object? Definitely not a Ouija. I will not stop till I find the cursed. EMF2 right there. Why did the text speech go off? That was strange. I was waiting for it. Hello? I'm bot broken? Alright, I don't know where the... It's a five. I don't know where the cursed object is. Why are you doing this to me, ghosty? What did I ever do to deserve this madness? Appreciate you, robe. Appreciate you. Let me try and play it again. Let's see. This is for you, Unchosen. I'll, I'll try to play it. There you go. Let's see if it, it talks. Time to watch business and do my bush. Wait, I think I said that wrong. No, not a possibility. Am I tripping? Maybe. Yes. I don't know yet. Bush hasn't screamed into the microphone yet, so I may be going insane. You are. Where is the cursed object? I think it's the mirror of the voodoo doll, but I forget where they are on this map. What is wrong with me? Why am I so old? How we doing, everybody? How is everyone doing today? TikTok, how we doing? Twitch, how we doing? Yeah, buddy. Mirrors downstairs. Yeah, it would be on that wall in the lobby, right? So then where's the voodoo doll? Because it's not on that wall. That's where I thought it was. Are the cursed objects in random places on the mirror? No, I'm just having a brain situation. Oh, there it is. Why did I think it was on the edge of a bed or something? What is wrong with me? My God. There we go. I knew that. All right, now we can take like a million pills and then go and uh, do our thing. Figure out which room. I think it is in the laundry room, but I'm not sure. We'll have to go off temperature. We got EMF five so far. La da da da, la da da da, la da da, la da da, la da da da. Um, I mean, it is touching a lot of things. So far, not sure. It could be a lot of things. It could be anything, really, based off what we observed so far. Let's take this thermometer and let's take some pills. Get the thermin, uh, spirit box, and a book. Sarah Barber. Uh, TikTok and Twitch, if you're here in the chat, please say hi to me with your face so I can say hi back with my face, face to face. Let's go. Yo, Long, welcome in from TikTok. I appreciate you. Flake, welcome in. Take a look at my thermometer. Now you gotta bend over. Thirty-eight. Uh, let's see about over here. 65. Okay, definitely not in there. Okay, we got a step ghost in the laundry room. Are you stuck in the washer? Where are you? How old are you? I might be going insane. I can't tell red from left. 
Up from turquoise. Those brownies were really funky and I can't see diagonally. Someone please send the cake. I need a wee woo in chat. Oh, I got the cake, baby. Are you a step ghost? 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 Where are you? How old are you? Give us a sign. Okay, so we got spirit box. And we got EMF 5. So it's either the twins, a wraith, or a spirit. Um, we can test for all those. We can test for all those. So the way that we test for any of these three with our step ghost here. Spirit, if you don't know, I will tell you. Uh, the smudge sticks in the ghost room. When you smudge the ghost room with a spirit, what happens wee is... Wee woo, wee woo. Wee woo, wee woo. That's not wee what happens. Wee woo. Fake news. I got you. Unchosen. Okay, so when you smudge the ghost room, if it's a spirit... It will not be able to hunt you for three minutes after the smudge. Minimum of three minutes. Now, this is significant because every other ghost in the game has a similar effect, but they can hunt after 90 seconds instead of three minutes. So, you have to smudge the ghost room and use the timer. That's a good way to tell. With the wraith, with, <laughs> with the wraith, it's footsteps. You lay down the salt. If the ghost steps in the salt and you have your UV out and it starts walking around after it steps in the salt, you hear footsteps. If there's no visible glowing footprint, it looks just like a fingerprint, but it's a foot on the ground. Uh, that's a Wraith. The Wraith is the only ghost in the game that will not give you glowing footprints after stepping in the salt and walking. And then the twins, the way we test for the twins is when they hunt, one of the two will be faster than the other. So that's a good way to tell. Um, yeah. So we will do all that. It's all good, Vander. It's all good. I know what you're doing. I know you're trying to cut me off. I see you. I see you, Vander Pants. See you, Vandy. See you, Vandy. All right, so we do need cruise. I'm going to take the cruise fix in there first. Double cruisy. I love me some Vanderpants. Hi, Subaki. That room is definitely covered. I'm a tomato. I'm a bush tato. All right, so the first test we're going to do is the wraith test. And the reason we're going to do that is because this ghost clearly isn't ready to hunt. So if you smudge the ghost room and the ghost isn't currently hunting you, like it's not, it hasn't hunted yet. Your sanity isn't low enough for a hunt. Guess what? You're going to not get a hunt for longer than three minutes, so it might confuse your test. You have to make sure it's really late in the match to do the spirit test properly. You have to be low enough on sanity that it's actually going to hunt you. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take in the salt. We're going to do the wraith test first. And actually, also what I want to do... Safety first. I'm going to bring in a smudge stick and light and lighter and light down right here just to make sure I have a, a outlet to go to um, when things are hitting the fan. When things are hitting the fan, you know what I'm saying? All right, here we go. Here we go. It only hunts when sanity starts to dwindle. Um, it depends on the ghost. I mean, the sanity, the whole sanity system is there to um, basically show when ghosts are active or hunting. So, like, like a demon can hunt really high sanity. So can like a yokai, a raiju. They're all early hunters. The most ghosts hunt at the fifty percent sanity average mark, and then something like a shade will hunt at thirty-five percent sanity or lower. Okay, let's let's see if we get some footprints here. Do we have, do we have a wraith here? Come on, step in it. The wraiths are normally pretty. There's footprints right there. Okay, it's not a wraith. So we can cross wraith off in the book. You see these, these glowing footprints? It's not a wraith.
That last one count. Oh, yes. We just need one more footstep. So we know we don't have a wraith. We can cross it off in the books. Yeah, buddy. Hallelujah. We have either a spirit or the twins. So we are narrowing it down. This is how Nightmare Mode is supposed to be played right here. Um, we're using these other little pieces of information that we have. Because uh, we can't rely on... We only get we only get two pieces of the evidence. So we haven't narrowed down to three. And we're dwindling based on knowledge of the game. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. I want one more footprint pick. I want it. And this will be a perfect game if we get one more footstep pick. Photo-wise, we do have to guess the ghost correctly. I'm going to arm myself with my smudge just to uh, be safe. Ghosty, can you step in my salt? Are you still in here? Uh, is that you, Step Ghost? Are you a Step Ghost? Are you my Step Bro? Where are you? Where's my Therm? Ooh, it moved out here? That's why it's not stepping. That is why. That makes sense. Okay, so. Let's go get some more salt and bring it out here because I need that extra footprint. Let's go. Why did I think that pill was salt? What's wrong with me? Oops. Text to speech is broken. Oh, that was only one bit, never mind. That's why. That's why. I was like, why is Texas speech not reading? Hello? When do ghosts start moving rooms on... I think they technically count on intermediate. I just did a breakdown of all the difficulties and the differences of them on YouTube. It's there for you as a resource to know what you're getting yourself into and to pick the def best difficulty for you. But um, I think they can technically start doing that on intermediate. But they do it a lot more on Nightmare. They do it a little bit on Pro Mode. Five dollar, five dollar, five dollar feet picks. Yes. So I break down all the differences with money, uh, with what changes and... Um, uh, why I think it was Is that the Grim Reaper? Yes, I think that once you unlock Nightmare Mode at level 20, you should start playing it to spam money. And I have a video that I made on how to do it quickly and effectively and safely because on Nightmare Mode, you ha you get four times the money on Nightmare Mode that you do on Amateur. There's literally a 4x multiplier plus more depending on map size. So if you just go... Okay, let's see if it's fast. Okay, that's not fast. So you get four times the money that you do. Yeah, so the way the multipliers work for the money in Phasmophobia is you have that end screen that says um, objective one, which is identify the ghost. Um, and that objective is scaled based on map size. So um, the small maps, you get $10 for that objective. For the mediums, you get $30. The medium maps are like uh, campsite, prison, school. And the asylum, you get $50 for that first objective. And the next three objectives that are on the whiteboard, also in the book, right here, you get 10 bucks a piece for. And then you have a value of $40 total that's available for photos if you get the right combination of photos. I also have a guide on... 
um, what photos are worth what and what you need to get a perfect game photo wise. And then for picking up the bone, you get an extra ten dollars. The bone evidence isn't the bone picture; it's picking up the bone. Um, the bone picture is very valuable. It's the second most valuable photo in the game. But picking it up is a whole separate thing calculated at the end. So it takes all that that you accomplished, and then intermediate. So amateur is a one x multiplier. Intermediate is two x. Pro is three x, and then nightmare is four x. So as soon as you unlock Nightmare, you can go in there in Nightmare with just the basic equipment, get five quick photos, guess what the ghost is, make sure you picked up the bone and get out and make some decent money. 100%. So what do we have to do here? Oh, we have to get a crucifix, don't we? Oh boy. Also, we can do the spirit test now. We can do the spirit oh test. Oh my god, it's a child. You need to kick it across the map now. Kick the life back into it. Make it scream louder than ghostly possible. Kick it now. So I will show you the spirit test. The problem with the spirit test is you have to smudge the ghost room, okay? The ghost right now is out here in the living room, and this is a big room. And the way the smudges work, you're not going to be able to cover the whole thing. But I think that, um, let's, let's just make sure. Yeah, ghost is still out here. I'm going to bring the crucifixes out here just to uh, help protect us. We obviously can't cover the whole range of this room with the crucifixes, but, but my friends, we can kind of guide the ghost away from this part of the room so it hunts more back there in the back so we're like safer. That way, that's what we're going to try and do. Pretty sure that this is the entire living room. Let me see. Let's see over here. 35. All right. Um, what do I need? Flashlight. All right, so I'm gonna get my stopwatch ready. Everyone, Kay. spam kick it. Do it purely because it is a child. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna light the smudge here, so it activates in a like a three meter radius when you light it. Maybe five meters, I forget. So boom, and now at six seconds, at the end of the six seconds, it activates one more time for this radius right here. So that's how you spread it out throughout the room. Room is smudged. Timer has started, so a spirit should not hunt for another three minutes. Um, every other ghost is 90 seconds. As long as you do the smudging properly, and it is the ghost room. You have to consider those factors. So I'm going to get another smudge just in case. And we're going to see if we have a spirit. That's a spirit test. Um, the way we're going to test for twins is just, it's going to hunt us eventually, and when it does, if it's a little bit faster this time, we know it's a twin because one of the two twins is faster than the other. Although they both look identical. All right, so we're 30 seconds in, and I hear a basketball. Uh, that's a ghost event. No, 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 loop it, loop it. When you see that dusty ball coming at you, who doesn't love dusty balls, am I right? You gotta loop it so that you don't get the hissing. If you get the hissing, it reduces your sanity by 10%. Get the habit of doing that, especially on the bigger maps, because a 10% sanity hit is huge. 99 peeps in here TikTok. We need more. We're trying to hit Twitch partner. Become a wacko right now. If you come over here uh, to Bushwhack18 on Twitch TikTok, uh, just let us know you're from TikTok so we can talk about how cool you are and welcome you into the wackos officially. Uh, this amazing community would love to meet you. Trust me. Phasmophobia friends over here on Twitch. So we're almost at 90 seconds here. If this ghost hunts, um, give it about. Okay, that's 90 seconds. Give it within the next 10. If it starts to hunt then, it's definitely the twins. Or any time before the next next minute and a half, really. Okay, I have a feeling this might be twins. Not me, the spirit, sorry. It might be the spirit. So we're at a minute and 50 seconds right now. We're getting closer to that three-minute mark. And this is looking like a dirty old spirit. That's not a hunt. That's, sneak. That's a ghost event. You are insane, child. I am not your daddy! Or am I? Dun, dun, dun! Yo, fish, pumpkin, Jen Peters. Welcome in, TikTokers. I love all of you. Thank you for helping us achieve our goals here. Welcome to the community. Welcome to the wackos. So two minutes and 30 seconds have gone by. There's still no hunt. 
Oh, wait. Oh, no, that's the spirit box. And the crucifixes aren't damaged. If you have crucifixes down, keep an eye on them. Because if one of the arms breaks off and glows, that means the ghost tried to hunt. So that's basically the same information. So if the ghost tries to hunt before the three minutes, then you know it's not a spirit. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Three minutes. Three minutes has gone by. It's going to hunt in about 10 seconds, or it's going to try to. You watch. This crucifix is going to get burned up. Okay, that's three minutes and 10 seconds. It's going to hunt any any second here. I guarantee you. I think, anyway. Hello? Maybe not. Maybe not. We're not getting spam hunted, so this could be... It's tough. I'm pretty sure it's the spirit. I'm convinced. We are at 114 viewers now. That's, yeah, that's a spirit. Come on over and let's set a bush record. Can we get 140? I believe in you all, Bush WH October. Is that a child? I am not your daddy! I am not your daddy! The record we hit yesterday was 151. If we hit over 151, y'all will see the epic Bush backflip out of the gaming chair while freestyle rapping to the likes of the challenge Eminem. I will start an Eminem rap battle feud as I backflip out of my gaming chair and hover in midair and then swing, swing off of my ceiling fan. You ever see that bottle challenge where they tie the bottle to the ceiling fan? That's going to be my body. My body's going to be the bottle as I drop kick all the haters around me in a circular spinning high speed motion. Do you imagine that? Then someone's just got to yell world star and it should be a viral clip. If we can get... If we can get someone to yell World Star while it happens, uh, I think we might get a million views. I'm going spirit. But we still need that crucifix, so I'm gonna get another I'm gonna get another um smudge stick. This is our last smudge, so if we don't get crucifix here, uh well maybe I'll just I'll set it. It's hard. The space is too big. You're you're essentially playing the odds that the ghost is going to attempt to hunt from where you set the crucifixes. And when you have a big room, it's tough. But we'll try. We will try. Calico Glow with the Prime Sub. Is that a new wacko? Welcome to the wackos. How does it feel to be a wacko? Let's go. Let's go, baby. Thank you so much. That really means the world to me. I really appreciate that support. That really does mean a lot. All right, are you turning on the water? Is the ghost? Wait, hold on. Wait, where did the ghost move to now? Hello? Ghosty? Daddy Bush is out here. Come on, Ghosty. <laughs> Yo, Deep, I'm sorry that my sub alert scared the crap out of you. It scares me sometimes, too. I want to get this crucifix off so that cause we, we'll have a perfect game. If we can do that, that's just, and I think that for this map size, it's uh, 360. For the small maps, the perfect game on Nightmare Mode is 360. For the medium, it's 440. And I think it's 520 for Asylum, I think. Okay, you were hunting. I'm going to save this much. I'm going to go upstairs right now. I'm going to go to my locker just to be safe. Ghost is not even hunting from the ghost room now. This is so tough to get the smudge in that area. That's literally the worst area in this entire map to get the um, get the crucifix objective for sure. Jono, how you doing? RJ, what up? Yes. 
Yes. Yes. Too many light switches. I want to light my entire path. There we go. There we go. Thank you for the gifts, TikTok. I appreciate you. Appreciate you, I do. Oh my god. Let's look upstairs. I don't feel safe in that spot. I've been killed there a couple times now. Let's go be on the recliner. How about that? That's actually this is actually probably a better hiding spot than the lockers. The ghost never comes over here. Never ever. Can you not use your prime sub if you were gifted a sub? Not until your gift sub expires. What's the objective of the game? So the objective of the game here in the book is we're trying to figure out which ghost we're dealing with based on the evidence we collect and how the ghost acts. There's like how many ghosts? One, two, three, four, five. There's 21 ghosts and they all have different tendencies and they all have different evidence that you collect. And also we're trying to get these objectives right here. We're trying to do that. We're trying to find the bone evidence and all that. Basically, the better you do, the more money you get and the more things you can buy. But if you die, you lose everything you brought into the game and it's very costly. So it's kind of like a non-shooter version of Tarkov where you go in and then like if you die, you lose everything. Think of it like that a little bit, but it's uh, it's fun. This game is amazing. It's been out for a couple years now. Ghosty is chain hunting us. That noise you're making, the ghost is manifesting and trying to kill us and I'm hiding to try and get the last objective. I don't even know where it's hunting from. Like it's, this is impossible. So phasmophobia is essentially just like it's uh, problem solving with a with a scary game cover on it, and it is scary. It's very scary at first. Yo, legal good. Thank you for the follow. Welcome in. Welcome in. The most stubborn and ghost. It keeps hunting from. Not sure where. Yo, thank you, Vander. I appreciate you. Tell Grandma Bushwhack18 said hi. And she'll be like, what? Who that? Who the, the, who whacked a bush? Who whacked a bush? Call the police. I appreciate you, Vander. Much love, dude. Where did I put my other crucifix over here? My guides helped you a lot. That's what I'm here for. It's hunting from like way back in that bathroom. This ghost, man. This ghost. I'm gonna have to get a crucifix back there. I can do it, but. Finally played some games on professional yesterday and passed all five, getting much better understanding of the game. Just started last week. Yeah, that's why I made the guides because it feels like you're lost at first and it kind of takes the fun out of the game when you don't know what you're doing or what you're trying to do. That's why I made that whole guide series on YouTube and I will keep updating that as more things change within the game. Hey, Toby. Hey, it's my cat. All right, so the ghost, he killed the power now. I can't see anything. I think you're hunting from back here, ghost. Oh. Oh my God. Oh my God, that was a close call. It's hunting from that back corner of the bathroom. You've gotta be absolutely kidding me. Dude, this is so tedious. Is it worth the extra $40 on Nightmare Mode? If we, we'll get a 320 instead of a 360 if we don't get that crucifix off the board. We'll get $320 instead of 360. That is the significance of what we're doing here. In case you were wondering. Yes. Yes. 
one. Come on, hurry up, hurry up, hurry up. Hurry up, bush. Alright, we threw it down. We threw it down. Ghosty is double crucifixed. It's gotta it's gotta do the crucifix. It's gotta. Oh, we just got it! We just got it right there. That was the spot. It kept hunting from that bathtub right there. We threw the crucifix down where it was, and boom. Got it. Let's go, baby. Ah, uh, that is a good example of how stubborn the crucifix objective could be. And um, a lot of people think that the crucifixes aren't working properly, but they really just don't understand how they work. There's a... They work in a three meter radius, unless it's a demon, it's a five meter radius around it, and they block up to two hunts. So, just because there's a crucifix in the room does not mean the ghost can't hunt. It just won't hunt from uh, within the three meter radius of the crucifix. So, you got to take your two and set them down in a staggered manner. And I have a whole guide video just on the crucifix. And um, you have to understand the layout of the room and what is outside of the range of the crucifix and where the ghost could still hunt from. So, right there, we, uh, we took the crucifix to the ghost and got the objective. So, there we go. Learning experience. It is a spirit, by the way. You saw the spirit test. A lot of good things in this video. A lot of good things to learn from. While also showcasing the madness of this community and how they try to harass me on a daily basis. <laughs> you watch. Plot twist is the twins. Plot twist. Plot twist is the twins. It's a spirit 360. Yep. So here's how the money's laid out. Like I was telling you, objective one, because it's a small map, $10. Uh, two, three, and four are always going to be 10. Photos, a max of 40 if you get max points. And bone evidence, 10. Multiply that by four because we're on Nightmare. That's $360. Have a good one.